In this video, I'm going to be re-ranking the top 10 best cards right now in NBA 2K23. My team, as you guys know, this past Friday, we got some amazing new cards in the game. And since the last time I did one of these top 10s, the top 10 has completely changed. So in this video, I'll be going over my top 10 best cards in my team right now. And I want you guys to let me know as well, your guys' top 10 best cards, including auctionable, you know, lock-in cards, free cards, every card available. Who do you guys think are the 10 best in the game? In my opinion, at the number 10 spot is going to be the Hero, uh, Hero Nikola Jokic, a six foot ten or six foot eleven point guard with a seven foot three wingspan. Jokic is going to be mainly an offensive card, but the card's still an elite defender with a 92 block, 90 steal, 92 perimeter, 94 interior defense. He's going to have pretty good Hall of Fame defensive badges. But like I said, this card's more known for his offense with a 98 three ball, really good athleticism stats for a Jokic card. Tons of good Hall of Fame shooting badges, and then his jump shot is absolutely knockdown with the Eric Paschal base in the Oscar Robertson upper on very quick timing. I think is one of the more easier jump shots to green at the point guard spot. And then he's also got the Curry size up and the John Wall escape, which is elite dribble six for a six foot 11 point guard. And that's going to be the main reason why Jokic is one of the best cards currently in my team at number 10 is because of his size, the point guard position, six foot 11, seven foot three wingspan, you know, weighs 284, has a great wide player build and just all around, he's going to be like a center power forward card, but plays like a point guard in game so i do think Jokic overall is the 10th best card in my team at the number nine spot kind of crazy to say but it's going to be pink diamond taco fall who i feel like only a couple weeks ago is still a top five card in the game easily but now he's fallen all the way down to number nine still an amazing power forward card though seven foot six with an eight foot two wingspan and we just know how cheesy overpowered this taco fall card is you know able to mash pretty much most power forwards in the game he just provides and you know just allows you to run your offense through the card and then also kick to wide open shooters and just you know always having a threat on the offensive end with taco fall always having that uh, dump down and just overall you know mashing ability with taco fall makes your offense a lot easier to run because if you first opponent if you verse an opponent with a smaller lineup, it's going to be really hard to stop your taco. And then defensively, I know it only says 64 speed, 64 acceleration, but man, does this card ever move across the court? Like he just covers so much ground, you know, whether it's contesting shots, blocking shots, you know, just forcing a bad look on the inside. I think Taco Falls one is still one of the best cards in my team. I got him at number nine at the number eight and seven spot. I think these cards got to go next to each other. I got T-Mac at eight and Terry Dishinger at seven. If you guys have seen a couple of my ranking videos, whether it's top 10 shooting guard shooting guard tier list whether you know you just see me rank terry dishinger and t-mac on the same list i think they're always going to be beside each other they are basically the exact same card and it really just comes down to preference but i think terry dishinger is slightly slightly better like really not a difference so i got t-mac at number eight a great offensive shooting guard six foot eight with a seven foot two wingspan i mean by now you guys should know what Tra uh, tracy mcgrady can do he's got an amazing jump shot possibly even the best in the game with the kpj base and the Oscar Robertson up around quick timing and then also has some very solid dribble sigs good at getting to the basket and he's going to be a solid defender nothing too crazy he's definitely not going to be a lockdown but he can still hold his own on the defensive side of things and then very similar card like I said with the dark matter Terry Dishinger being a small forward shooting guard six foot seven with a six foot eleven wingspan also does have the KPJ base but instead of the Oscar upper he does have the Carmelo Anthony upper which is a little bit faster on quick timing and then also does have you know slightly better dribble sticks with the steve francis size up and the steph curry escape so the steve francis size up is really going to be the only difference you know between the two cards so i think they're very similar i got t-mac at eight and i do have terry dishinger at seven now for number six i went with the galaxy Super yao ming and the reason why i think there's going to be two yaos in this top 10 is because these two cards are completely different the galaxy Super yao and the base dark matter yao the titan ones are basically the same card if you compare them there's really not too big of a difference like I just compared the same two cards. So yeah, if you compare the Dark Matter to the Galaxy Opal, there's really not that big of a difference in the stats, at least nothing noticeable, like plus two three, plus two speed, plus two acceleration. These are pretty much the exact same cards besides the Hall of Fame badges. So I just put the Opal Yao Ming because he's a different tier than the Dark Matter. But yeah, obviously the Dark Matter Hero Yao Ming will be in this top 10 somewhere. You guys will see where I do have him ranked, but 
like I said, I think you got to either have the Dark Matters Hidden Xiao at number six or the Galaxy Opal. I just want the Opal one just because it looks, you know, different because they're different tiers. But this one and the Titans one are basically the same card. And then I do think the Hero one does take a step up. So if you want to put the Dark Matter one here at number six, that's obviously perfectly, perfectly cool to do so. But I think Yao Ming is going to have two cards in the top uh, in the top ten. And to do of the uh, Galaxy Opal Yao Ming or the Dark Matter Titans one in at number six. I mean, just such an overpowered card, seven foot six with a seven foot nine wingspan. You guys know why this card is so elite. You can shoot the three ball, you can run the floor, just like Taco Fall, such a good paint masher, such a good interior defender. He's just one of the more glitchy cards in my team. At the number five spot, though, I do have the Dark Matter Hero Tim Thomas, an amazing offensive shooting guard. He's six foot ten with a seven foot two wingspan. I do think he's slightly better than Terry Dishinger at T Mac, really not by a crazy margin. Like I think he's you know, I would say slightly better is the word that I would use for it because I do think he's a better card at the shooting guard position. And I think he's also a little bit better at small forward if you wanted to run him there. So I do think that's also another factor in why I do think he's slightly better of a card than Terry and T-Mac. I also do like his jump shot a little bit more just because it's quicker. I know those jump shots are easier to green, you know, with the KPJ base and the Oscar upper for T-Mac, but I like that quick jump shot also having the tray fade. And then I love his dribble six. I think he just moves a lot quicker on the court you know with it getting downhill with the steve francis size up and then also having the tray escape like i'm a big fan of the tray escape over the curry if you like the curry escape more than the tray then you'll probably like a terry dishinger or a t-mac better and that's how close these cards are that it really just comes down to like an escape or a size up between these three shooting guards all going to be some of the best cards in my team at that shooting guard position at the number four spot though after using this ben simmons card i think he's the best point guard in the game and i'm not going to say it's not close at all but i think he's clear number one in my opinion opinion just his size his wingspan his player model his defensive stats and badges his animations in game his rebounding ability his slashing ability like this card is unstoppable going to the rim whether it's standing dunks whether it's backdoor cuts whether it's pick and roll whether it's him driving off the pick and roll whether it's him catching lobs like this card just finishes so well down low because he's six foot eleven has a 98 driving dunk some of the best hall of fame finishing badges in the game but also just his animations you know he gets some of the best slashing animations in my team yes i know his jump shot isn't the greatest but i feel like you can knock down threes with this card wide open and how many threes are you realistically going to have to take with ben simmons especially if you're running them uh you know next to some elite level offensive cards like a terry dishinger like a t mac a tim thomas like a bull bull these type of cards you know you're gonna you're not gonna have to really shoot many threes and run your offense through ben simmons and even if you have to you can definitely mash and just room run every play and he can still be a great offensive card but he's going to be here mainly for his defense and I do think he's the fourth best card in the game. At the number three spot is going to be the Hero Dark Matter Bull Bull. Another hero card in the top 10, in the top five, actually. We got Hero Tim Thomas at five. We got the Hero Ben Simmons at four. And then I do think the Hero Bull Bull at number three. Just such a glitchy card at the small four position. Seven foot two wingspan. Seven foot, or seven foot two height. Seven foot seven wingspan. The card is just so glitchy overall. I mean, there's nothing this card can't do. And for a card who's seven foot two and can do it all at a very high level that's pretty much all you need to know about this card 40 hall of fame badges ton for finishing shooting playmaking and defense really well balanced i will say not like he has crazy amounts of finishing or crazy amounts of playmaking all going to be pretty spread out evenly and then his jump shot yes it's not some crazy glitchy kpj base oscar upper you know or kuzma up or rudy gay base it's not like a glitchy jump shot but it's still a very capable uh, capable release in game which is all you need for this bull bull card and then he does have the kyle larry size up he's got the tray escape dame behind the back i mean his sigs are amazing for a card who is seven foot two but i do think the two best cards in the game really comes down to the dark matter hero yao ming and the dark matter lock-in minute bull i think the, i think these are the two best cards in the game maybe it does change when check comes out maybe he could possibly be better than a yao ming or maybe than a bull bull but I think for now, you got to have Yao Ming at number two. Just such a glitchy card like his other Galaxy Opal or like his other Dark Matter. But the biggest difference compared to those two is, yes, they're going to have the same speed, but he's got a 92 three ball. And the biggest difference is these Hall of Fame shooting badges is really going to help this card on the offensive end, you know, able to shoot more threes consistently. I just want to show you guys the quick comparison. 
not between the two here Yao Ming's but from the Titans Yao Ming compared to the uh, hero I think there's a pretty big difference not in the stats because that is pretty much the same besides the plus 12 three ball but it's the Hall of Fame shooting badges the blinders the corner specialist the limitless range I think it's going to make a decent difference the clamp breaker the quick first step the limitless takeoff the fast switch like these are all key badges to have on Yao Ming like clamps glove you can add to you know the other Yao Ming card Asian three amps is nice to have as well but those Hoff badges I think will make a slight difference and mainly the plus 12 three ball as well so i do think hero yao ming the second best card in my team and then the other hero the lock in the dark matter manu bull i think is right now the best card in my team i think you could say it's somewhat close but this man's animations his wingspan being eight, eight foot five seven foot seven tall you know great player model in game he feels like he's got 99 speed in game he just runs so quick up the court and all around covers so much ground i would say kind of um he's kind of like yao ming and taco fall paired into one card because you get taco's size his wingspan his player model and just glitchiness and how taco feels faster than his speed like taco feels like almost as fast as yao ming and the manu bull has like the same speed as yao but he feels a lot faster than a card like yao but then you also get you know Yao Ming's a shooting ability which I think is a lot better compared to a card like Taco so the higher three ball more hall of fame shooting badges and a better jump shot I think you kind of get the you, you get the best out of both between Taco and Yao Ming and then you put the two together and I think you pretty much get Dark Matter Manu Bull but let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about my top 10 best cards in my team right now and let me know your guys' top 10 as well and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace